Lani. You are Lani? Lani. Where are you from? I'm from Zimbabwe. Oh, nice. Ah. Okay, okay, you can take a seat. Then you okay. Too anxious. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think you have already introduced yourselves to each other. Uh, I just want to know where are you visiting from? Oh, I'm from uh, Okinawa. Okay, cave Cafe. Mountain. Why? People, they come and drink some coffee. This is a natural cave. Groundwater formed this cave. These rocks are coral rocks. This was once a coral reef under the sea. Mm. Mm. Okinawa is divided into two major parts. We have got the north and the south. Now we are here. The south, in terms of its formation, it is a bit younger as compared to the north. I will show you our map for the day. Okay. Ta -da. So far, we are here. In the forest, we are going to see three caves. First is Inabu Cave. We are not allowed to go inside Inabu. I will explain why. After Inabu Cave, we are going to visit Ikiga Cave. Then we are going, after that, we are going to see a huge rock. Then we are going to enter into a tunnel. After that, that's when we are going to see the most beautiful tree in the valley of Kangala called Kajumaru Tree. Then after, we are going to climb to the tree terrace. No, then oh. finally, we are going to do some few karate oh, tactics. Oh, okay. yeah. ah. Karate cave. Yeah, who's we? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know about the Minato government? Oh, yeah. yeah. He is called the Minato government. He lived in Okinawa 20,000 years ago. I can simply say he is the prehistoric ancestor to the Japanese. These are the Minatokawa bones. He was 140 centimeters tall. He died at a tender age. He was 25 years old. He was killed. Why? we say so because the bones they were broken and also the skull over them reflects that a sharp object came then he passed away mm. how do we know that it was a man the pelvis bones they were closer together mm. and the question now is when and where did they found the bones the bones were discovered in 1976 in a place called the Minato Gawa Fisher. Mm. That's the Minato Gawa Fisher. That's the creek over there. This place is 1.5 kilometer from here. We'll just have the privilege to see it from afar. Uh, so after the discovery of this, uh, the discovery of the bones, we later see scientists wanting to know where did the Minato Gawa people live. So the closest place they started looking at, it was here in the valley of Kangala. Over there, they came across some stone tools, animal bones, and also they found some face powder over there. Maybe that was their sunscreen during those days. And one of the most uh, amazing thing that was discovered in 2008, it is a fish, fish hook. This fish hook is 23,000 years old. It was discovered over there. So far, this is the oldest fish hook ever to be discovered. So after all these discoveries, we then see scientists actually concluding and saying, probably due to these artifacts, these people once inhabited this place. Uh, good people, we have put a journey to take. Uh, we have put some tea. called some pincha, some pincha or jasmine tea, Something. just do like this, help yourself like this, it's, it's for free, you can help yourself, we can we can go in the forest, you are welcome to take some photos as many. Why? Because it is holding tight, uh, 40 years ago it was cut, since then it, it has only developed this much, mm -hmm. so 
this wow. can just give you a hint of how long for this fellow party to grow this size. Really? Yes. 40, 40 years to grow less than one inch. Day. Yes, yeah, much rather have this than hot. <laughs> or snow and ice. <laughs> Don't get much snow and ice here. Which part of Some umbrellas, just in case I bring them. Um, I, I'm okay. <laughs> I might regret that little comment, but <laughs> I'm okay. I'm soaking wet, but I'm okay. It's <laughs> winter, yes. I think it's only good for for him, everyone, <laughs> with the baby. Uh, This is the tallest grass that you'll ever find in the whole world. Uh, that's a bamboo. It's called a giant bamboo. It was taken from Taiwan. It is swift in terms of growth. 90 to 100 days, they stop growing. They reach about 25 to 35 meters. Huh. Then uh, after three months, uh, then they start to mature, start to grow. Uh, to become more thicker. I never saw all these ones when they were growing because I was not there. I only got to see this one. Last year we had to post some uh, photos through Instagram just for the sake of clarity. You tell people the stories of 90 to 100 days, it's not easy to believe. Yeah. Yes. Mm. People, they cook some rice. As you can hear some noise inside, mm. it's hollow. Mm. And I'm told in Thailand, they make some some clothing uh, out of uh, yes. Yeah. You can have a, a touch of the bamboo. Please feel free. <laughs> <laughs> so last year the typhoon uh, played a major role in bringing the the bamboos down. Oh, down and down. Then we have got a spider over there. It's called a, a gold, golden orb weaver. Oh, yeah. uh, I hear sometimes people call, giving me names like banana mm -hmm. spiders. They, they totally look the same. Summertime, they reach this peak. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are they venomous? Yes. How do we know the, the coloring? Uh, the, the brighter, the lighter, the, the spider, the the, the, but deadly it becomes. Oh. But, spiders are venomous? Yes, they are venomous. Oh. But you don't pass away when you receive a bite. It's just, <laughs> just a small, a small issue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. They are all poisonous for my eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Unfortunately, today no no pandas, my friend. Come no. next time. No. No. The 
when you're inside the cave, sometimes people they do some wedding ceremony, okay. some me concert meetings. No wonder why. The first cave? Inside the inside the yes the, the cave uh, cave cafe. No wonder why we have this cave cable electric mm. cable. So this would be the entrance for the uh -huh. bride and the bridegroom. Uh -huh. And, and I, would cool. be, yes, I would be joining them. <laughs> <laughs> Have you attended many weddings? Uh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't received some invitation, <laughs> yes, but uh, uh, just uh, preparing some uh, the, 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 the setups for for the people who usually just help. Oh. Mm. There's quite a quite a breeze coming up no, through there. No, it's not. It's just they're moving. Not the breeze. Just they do that sometimes. Oh. You know? No. Oh. What kind of plant is that? Uh, just sometimes you see something. There's no breeze. Just some plant is moving. Like I'll be there. But it stopped. It did stop. Yeah. Huh. Some fish over there, oh. and, and also eels. Yes, you will see some eels. Then, do we see those two stalactites up high over there? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They give us a hint that there was a there was a ceiling. Why stalactites? They don't grow from uh, from the edges. Mm -hmm. They grow from inside. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah. So something fell. Something fell down. Then yeah. they were left over there hanging. Oh, Toshi. Okay. Same thing there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I like your vegetarians. They are hypocrites. Say that again? That's why I like your vegetarian people. They are hypocrites. <laughs> they are alive. <laughs> they are alive. That, that, one, that one, you see. You see that a lot, though. If you walk on in the woods. Wow, that's a that's a nice tree right there. Huh. Need Ishiganto right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you must give me the name of this tree. Banyan? Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. So everyone is lucky. <laughs> ah. Yes, this is a banyan tree. Uh, this is what it does. These are roots. They come down, they grow strong, then the tree begins to move. No wonder why it is called a hawking tree. As you can see, it was over there some years ago. It's moving. Though the process is a bit slower, but it keeps on moving. What? Why is it moving? I think maybe it's looking for. Ah, uh, yeah, could be. <clears throat> so there are some 
uh, stories, uh, especially for for kids. But I have to tell you, uh, it's uh, the, the, uh, it's believed that there is a certain monster called Kijimuna. Kijimuna. Yes, mm. who ah. lives in Kajumaru. Right. In Japanese, this is called Kajumaru. Right. So. If you can manage to see Kijimuna, that means you have got a good heart. Then if you can't see, I don't know, uh, problem with I your heart. A problem with your heart. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Better call EMS right now. Yeah. I've seen tombs uh, like uh, Amawari tomb. In, in in Yomitan, mm -hmm. it's got a a, a banyan tree, mm -hmm. and it like you say it moves. It looks like these the trees the roots are coming right up out of that tomb to, to the tombs be, oh. because it has over the years I just moved, it's moved it's over, there. over there. Where in Yomitan? Huh? Where in Yomitan? Uh, Azaoki, just a little north of Furugan. Yeah, I used to live out that way. Mm. Oki. 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 Oh, no. okay. Yeah, we live out that way. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether you are uh, the name of this one. Let's try. Yeah, I don't know. It's called an elephant ear. Oh, oh I wasn't yeah. looking up there. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, this one has fallen down. Yeah. Yes, you should ever uh, uh, came here a few weeks ago. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is called uh, uh, kwazuimo in Japanese. Kwazuimo means do not eat. Mm. But it has also been given another name, uh, Totoro's umbrella. Oh, if okay. you know Totoro. <laughs> so yeah. this was the umbrella. Unfortunately, the sun played a, a major role in destroying mm. the umbrella. So, <laughs> the main reason why it was uh, actually given the name uh, Kuazuimo, it is because I think they first tested and realized it was never good, then they said Kuazuimo. Kuazuimo ah, means... Okay. So the potato you, you can't eat, that's what I <laughs> 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 Totoro. Uh -huh. Totoro is always down, then there is always the leaf on top of him. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> so, Nihongo Pira 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 Taijobu desu ka? Pira Pira Nan desu ka? Flu, flu, eh? Flu, eh? Oh, oh. I'm not, I'm not Japanese Pira Pira. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Same, same. <laughs> I may have been here for, for a, a year, so I'm still trying to just learn. Okay, so that's the same. Well, I don't like box Do you speak <laughs> Japanese well? No. No. Uh, it's yeah. impossible in one year. Uh, oh, one year. Okay, one year. I missed that. Yeah. He picks up well. I like it. Hmm? Hmm. He's picking up from Japanese again. Uh, this is our first cave, Inagu. Inagu, it has to do with women. Mm. Yes, it means woman. Okay. In Okinawa. Yes, in Okinawan language. So, uh, you can just have a look and just stand over there and have a look. But uh, there isn't much to see. I'll just show you a sketch of how it looks like inside. Your turn. <laughs> Done. Then do we see that butterfly? I don't want us to miss it. Uh, you can come, you will manage to see. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You will manage to see. Is this? Slippery, yeah. yes. Oliver says, hey, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Do we see the butterfly? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, 
that's the biggest butterfly in in Japan. It is called paper kite or or jorogumo. Jorogumo? Yes. Uh, the spider? Oh, yeah. ogomadara. Oh, oh, ogomadara. <laughs> ogomadara. <laughs> spider. Yes. Uh, it's called paper kite. Uh, I will show you the eggs of that one. Huh. So. I'm for oh, yes, then I'll just yes, this this the this spider took away all our focus to the, <laughs> in fact the the butterfly. The butterfly, yeah. yeah. The cave long time ago it was open for for the public, but it was closed. Why? Because it is not friendly going in. As you can see, you have to do a lot of squeezing yourself mm -hmm. and uh it's a bit low you have to follow someone from behind oh okay uh, people don't like that uh -huh. and uh this is the main reason why it is called inagu there are two organs two female organs found below in the upper abdomen oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's the that's where inagu was actually taken from and the question is, uh, is it natural or is it a, yeah. a, a man-made? Yeah. Of course, natural. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, now when people, they come and pray for, for safe child delivery. Mm. Did you know this is our radio tour? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe that's why it costs 6000 $6, <laughs> 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 Art rated tour. Going deep, it is five meters. Then horizontally inside, it's 20, 20 meters. Mm, this is exciting. The, the cave. The cave. Ah, okay. <coughs> What's up here? Oh, we'll pass there later. Oh, oh okay. Ah, then this is a this is a switch. For lights. Oh, ah, so this. <laughs> it's hidden like that. Okay. <laughs> but the the river is no longer original. Uh, as you can see, some concrete was put. Just yeah. they were trying to widen the river because when the typhoon comes, it messes up. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. Huh. Oh, shoot, you're all right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I don't know whether you managed to watch the movie Indiana Jones. Uh -huh. <laughs> after the movie, we took our lanterns. <laughs> Oops. I'll give one each. Oh. Uh, one for a cow. Then the same. means men so we are going to see a man inside i don't know why we are allowed to see the men and we are not allowed to go and see yeah. the other part <laughs> oh my, my light went out yours went off <laughs> you can use this, this uh, one ah, today the first part is this one 
They had plenty of fresh water in here. Watch out! Watch out! Nice quality. Okay. Yikes! <laughs> Actions, they speak louder than this. I think he can explain better for himself. <laughs> Cannot speak for him. Ah. This is the man. This is the oldest man as compared to all other young men behind us. You can see we are many. Ah. We are allowed just to give a gentle touch to the man. Ah. Yes. We can as well take some photos. He's got little tiny balls too. <laughs> that's, 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 that's him. <laughs> Is that like Buddha's belly and good luck yeah. if you rub it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we don't go any further. Than uh, this. We don't go any further. Uh -huh. The cave is not very much deep. I don't know whether you can see some light over there. That's the reflection of light coming from outside. The river doesn't flow going outside. It goes underground over there, then from there straight to the sea. Oh. It is going to make sense more when we go outside, you will realize the river outside is dry. Okay. Yes. This is the only cave that is got stalactites with uh, this position. This slanting position. Uh, long time ago, the water level would rise up. As the stalactites were coming down, the water would push the stalactites. Then the stalactites would later change their form. Ah, I see. Change their form. Okay. You want me to take the picture with that? What's that? You want me to take your picture with that? No. <laughs> no, thank you. So these are the roots of the of the banyan tree. Mm -hmm. This is the no, this is the, uh, not the same tree that uh, Tarzan. Do you know Tarzan? Yeah. That man who swings 
from one tree to another. That's not the same tree. This one you will fall down. <laughs> it's not true. Okay. okay. <laughs> Darn, I was going to try it too. Yeah, you'd be fishing me out of the river in two seconds. Does this river have a name? You. It's you, Yuhi, Yuhi, Yuhi Gawa. Yuhi Gawa. Yuhi Gawa. You Ohigawa. You Ohigawa. Okay. Pronunciation part of it, it always messes up my tongue. Uh -uh. This is the huge rock that I mentioned earlier. The rock was connected over there. I don't know what inspired the movement, what made the rock to fall, mm. but there was a movement. Maybe when the cave collapsed or the uh, Maybe when the, the cave collapsed or we tend sometimes to think of earthquakes, but looking at their uh, magnitude here, they are not that tense, uh. but the collapsing of the cave might also have brought to the path of this of this structure. So in the morning, this is what I did. I came, I had to check in terms of balance, if we are safe. Today when we pass through the tunnel, all is well. Okay, we trust you. Yes, yes, as you can see, I already did some. <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't mind having a backyard like this. Good for relaxation. Very much. I work there for Japanese people. Japanese guy, yeah. <laughs> thirty dollars per person. Nihonjin. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your backyard. Do we have dangerous uh, animals here? Yes, habu habu snake. Ah, okay. But you hardly see one during the day. I haven't seen one also, uh, except for the ones that I see being hidden by cars. Wow. Okay. Uh, Habu snakes are the ones that I don't know whether you are familiar with the sake, yeah. Okinawa sake. Mm. Yes, they are used for brewing sake. You catch one, they give you 50 bucks. Uh, that is if it is still alive. Habu shu. Yes. Well, so far in the six weeks that I've been here, mm -hmm. every day I encounter stairs to climb. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is pretty in here. This was also a cave, but the ceiling fell down. There was a river. You can tell there are some grooves. These openings, they, they enlighten us that there was the flow of water from that direction going straight to the tunnel. Hmm. Before the, the tunnel was reinforced, this was a, also a, a, a cave. The reinforcement was put why they wanted just to strengthen the, the structure over the, the road. Mm. So I'll give you a short story inside the, inside the tunnel, why this place is called Kangala. Kangala. So that's the that's the name Kangala. Mm. So 
how this, this story begins. <laughs> Long time ago, here, the top of this place was more like a mountain, but a hollow. So local people used to come and uh, throw in some stones. In a manner wanting to know how deep was the hollowness, so the rock would come and make the gun, 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 gun. Gala, 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 gala. So gala, 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 gala was later translated to gang, gala. Oh, <laughs> That's the end of the story. That's <laughs> where <laughs> the name. Gangala is not English, it's not Japanese, it's just a sound. Uh -huh. What's that? <laughs> I thought that was the end we had to come out. <laughs> beautiful tree in the valley of Kangala. It is called Ufushu Kajumaru. Ufushu, Ufushu. simply means elder. Mm. So this is the eldest or oldest oh. beautiful. Uh, it's an estimation about 150 years old. Okay. Mm. Mm. But I tend to believe it's far much mm -hmm. older than that. Yeah. Because, because I don't know when they started to say 150. This is, yes, yes, yes. The amazing part is that the tree is growing from the cliff coming down. It is spreading all over. As you can see, it was over there. Now it's here. It's over there. It's over there. So all the development that are taking place this site, they started from that, that place. Wow. So I've got a big surprise for you. I want to take you some, some photos. So the rules are simple. You follow me your phone, I show you the hot spot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just stand, stand here. Okay. Okay. That's the only ceiling. Ceiling remain. And I think mm. a name, famous name, Shiro san and Nakamura san, especially here in, mm. in Okinawa. Like Smith yes. or Jones. Now, what is this up in here? Tomb. 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 Oh, a tomb. tomb. But it's, it's an empty tomb because he was moved. Oh, okay. I think it has to do with also the belief. Uh, we, we look at uh, people's belief here. They, tell, they believe that during the month of April, they have to visit the graves of their beloved ones. Mm -hmm. So I think it was never a good scenario for them to be over there while least we are here. So having another place, it was. Oh, so they yes. Him. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But looking at the structure, you can tell that it is old. How do we know about that? You can uh, look uh, at which the, the the rocks are actually put. Long time ago, there were no no cement. People they never used the cement. Mm -hmm. right. Why they were patient? Mm -hmm. I think so. Nowadays, you build your structure today. Tomorrow you have to put cement, you have to make sure everything is strong in two days. So, long time ago, people were patient. Are we allowed to go inside? No, we still have got more, about 100 or more years to live. Don't qualify. Okay. <laughs> it's the same way they make the behind your house, right? The, the rock wall. Yeah, yeah. And then this is the hiding spot for those that are actually fear whatsoever, maybe spiders or anything. <laughs> yeah. 
You go there, you will be safe. What the most fun? Ooh, there's some pretty critters. You can't see the spiders. Yeah. Shapes. Yeah. I don't like spiders. Don't like spiders and snakes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We don't have seafood, so oh, yeah. we don't also have diverse of food like here, yeah. so food Do you like food. the seafood? I like the seafood. <laughs> uh, you can also take the photo of oh, this. Oh, that's very pretty for this you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's amazing. What is the best? Ah, uh, exit, exit, exit. And down there? Though. Down there, we will go there. Oh, we go there? Today, is, as you already said, you Going up and down throughout the day. Please watch out of this step is a bit higher. Then, as you pass by here, uh, take note of this uh, egg. I, I already showed you the butterfly. Then, this is the, the egg. After a few days, it's going to change to this, to this, to this coloring. Then, uh, later, maybe, maybe it's going to be a cater caterpillar. Then it goes back to the ground. Hmm. It goes back to the ground. Now I'm like, none of those. <laughs> what else like eggs? Now, where did he say? Yeah, this Hello? is our tree house. That's the balcony over there. Down there is a, there is a river. Yeah. 60 feet. We are 60 feet above the ground. Oh, maybe on these leaves. I don't know. Oh well, an egg. Hi. Eggs. Yes. Eggs so go. Yeah. Not that I want to see. <laughs> no. Okay. Let me check again. Uh, I have seen one. Do you see this one? Oh, oh, there, there. The, this one. No. Ah, this okay. One. That's okay. No, can't get it in. Did you? Did you see? Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Wow. I've never seen butterfly in my life. The cocoon. 60 years. It's going. This is the tree house. Down there is a river over there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people they tend to think that's the Titanic spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> Around here they farm sugar cane. They are already done harvesting, as you can see over there. January, February, March, they do the, the harvesting. Then they start to replant. Mm. Then I want to show you the the place where they found the Minato Tower Bones. Do we see the sea? Though it's a bit misty, foggy. Do we see the sea, the bridge? Yeah. yeah. Do we see the trees to the right from the bridge? I have to bring the sketch. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy for us all. Okay, so this is the this is the place that I, I'm talking about over there. Yeah. Yes, that's where they found the Minato Gawa bones. Oh, okay. In total, there were nine bodies: three women, two men. The rest, it was never clear why, because the bones were scattered everywhere. Oh. Oh, okay. It's believed that these people were killed. Why? Because the very same place they found some wild pig bones. So it doesn't make sense for a grave to have a mixture with, with uh, wild animals. So someone did something. They would go there and spend a day, catch some sushi, you know, then they would come back and relax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I don't know why the person who drew this uh, 
uh, sketch he had to put a, a red car which is bigger than the bridge <laughs> so it was never far and it, it will be never far from here today especially if you are hungry and you know that's the place to find your food it is always yeah. near then all other buildings that you see from the other side that's my territory oh okay yes, is it yes, yes, yes. that's my territory <laughs> why I'm saying it's not far because sometimes I always try you it. Then we are going to our final place that's where we are going to do some few karate tactics. No judo. I know some of you need some things. <laughs> Okay. Four years, almost four years. So you are my senior. Yeah. Four years. I'm not quite sure. You know, what's interesting is this place was here when I first came to Okinawa decades ago, but mm -hmm. uh, nobody knew about it back in the I 70s. I of, of the, you know, big dong thing. Yeah. I mean, when so I So you're just visiting? Yeah. For now. For now? <laughs> for now, yeah. Try to make a decision if you're coming back? <laughs> well, I try to come back every year for a couple of months. Are you guys back in the state or mainland? Uh, Toshi lives here on Okinawa. Oh, okay. She's well, a friend from many, many years ago. Mm. 30 years. As you are saying, <laughs> when you came here 10 years ago, this place was not well known. Yeah. But okay. it's, uh, oh, more than 10. Okay. For, 40 years ago. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of things since you're stationed here. Yeah. Well, I was here in the 70s and again in the 80s. Too. <laughs> no, no, so please uh, give them a chance. <laughs> we have that back home. It's not a mango, it's not a coconut. I've received answers like coconut, mango, What's guava. It? It quasi? quasi? Uh, no, no. Uh, that's a papaya. <laughs> oh, papaya. Yes. Okay. This time the papayas are small. Yeah. They are twice. They give fruits twice a year, uh, so next time they are going to be big. So they change, small, big, big, small. Ah. Mm -hmm. Papaya. Okay. There won't be any papaya in my backyard in <laughs> Montana. That's for damn sure. I don't know how this one got here. Uh, especially if someone brought the seed or something. Maybe it blew in with a typhoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that you cannot find here in Okinawa is a scorpion. Whenever you see it, mm. someone would have brought it maybe through plane or through something. Mm. On a ship. Yeah. Oh. 
That's a dry river. If you remember, I said the river outside is dry. Yeah. yeah. Well, we learned. Mm -hmm. Please watch out. No, some have to watch out. Doc, see the sun. I, I've learned my lesson. Oh my God, I was in that one cave that uh, I can't remember which one I was in. The Haibaru. Haibaru, yeah, hi. Uh, good thing I had a helmet. They make you wear a helmet in there. Because if you if you come into contact with them, things. This is Karate Cave. Why is it called Karate Cave? Okinawan people used to come and train Karate here. Karate started in Okinawa. It was an inspiration from the, the Chinese when uh, they saw them doing Kung Fu or Kung Fu. They used to do Karate over there. Why? It is flat and dry. There is light. Uh, it's quiet, there's good fresh, there's fresh air, mm. so it was a good place for them. Mm. Then this is a, this is a, a, a grave. That's this a, grave is oh. dating back to 3,000 uh, years back. Uh, why, how do we know about that? It is because the bones that were found dated back to 3,000 years ago. The bones had a seashell necklace and a seashell bracelet. Yes. Wow, really? So, Huh. They were styling. Yeah. They were into heavy stuff, jewelry stuff. <laughs> so you can uh, just uh, sit here, good people, then uh, I show you the karate moves. I'm still praying whether should I show you or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Okay. Life in this cave dates back to 7,000 years ago. How do we know they found pottery? I don't know how you pronounce, pronounce it. Pottery or pottery? Oh, pottery. Okay. Pottery. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sometimes some they call it earthenware. Mm -hmm. Earthenware. It was found here, it had fingernail marks, which dates back to 7,000 years ago. Do we see the digging over there? Then also over there, they found some wild pig, pig bones. Hmm. So that was the barbecue spot. They would do <laughs> then they would go over there to, to sleep. Uh, they would share the space. Long time ago, there were no secrets. They would move in groups and stay in groups. I don't know what changed. Then uh, now we want to look at the history of men. We want to neglect the story of the Minatokawa people. We want to also include ourselves into history. But what we are going to talk about, it is based on scientific uh, theories. According to history, According to science, in fact, men is believed to have started as an ape the first ape man is called Tomai Epman. They started in Africa in a place called Chad, C H A D. Mm. After the Tomai Epman, many different apes came. The last one was the Homo sapiens. Same applies with the Homo sapiens. He started in Africa 200,000 years ago. He was never wise to cross the, the sea. So he was privileged that time to, to penetrate to all the parts of the world. Why? The eight uh, plates, they were closer together. I cannot manage to explain how the Homo sapiens finally changed to become like us today. But uh, nowadays we find people all over the world. Hmm. The question now is, are people the same? Looking at this scenario now, you can tell we don't look the same in terms of color. Yes, people are the same. Then why are people looking different? It is just the exposure to different temperature zones. If you live in Africa, Africa is near the equator, it is near the sun, so the skin has to adapt, has to develop melanin, mm -hmm. therefore you have to become a dark 
dark men like me. Same applies with you where you are coming from, looking at your history, etc., and the place where you are exposed to the temperatures are totally different. Therefore, the skin has to uh, change according to the temperature zone. But there is one thing in a man that does not change, that we have now, that connects us together, which does not have color. I want to show it to you today, and uh, I believe also all people possess that thing. Uh, I don't know whether I should tell you. <laughs> it is called love. Mm. Yes. There is no Okinawan love, there is no American love, there is no African love. Love is just a universal thing found within us which connects us each and every day. No wonder why a certain man in a certain country called uh, Jamaica, I don't know whether you're familiar with Pop Mali. Pop Mali. Yes. Someone, someone. Oh, okay, maybe <laughs> try Mr. Google. <laughs> Pop Mali said, uh, one love, one heart, let's get together and feel all right. One love, hmm. one heart, let's get together and feel all right. This is the end of our talk, good people. You were amazing. Thank you for visiting. I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here in Okinawa. Arigato gozaimasu. Hey, arigato. Don't...